Hey guys, Stefan here, back with another five ways to improve your Logic Pro 10 workflow. This is part five covering ways 21 to 25. Let's go. In the last video, we looked at a way to quickly speed up your automation, but if that's still too long for you, here's another way that you might find useful. Instead of using automation, we can use flex pitch. With flex pitch enabled, we can then go in and increase and decrease the gain on each word. Be sure, however, to not do any pitch correction if increasing or decreasing the levels is your only requirement. Logic's flex pitch for pitch correction isn't really that great. For it to perform best, you have to perform a cleanup job on the vocals as much as you can first. Which brings us nicely onto number two, because number two is a great tool for this, and that is remove silence. It used to be called strip silence, so if when I show you how to access it, you don't, you don't see remove silence and you see strip silence instead, that's the one that you want. To add it, simply right click on the toolbar, click customize toolbar and select remove silence. Like I said a moment ago, if you don't see remove silence, then it's called strip silence. Here we can adjust how aggressive the remove silence will be. First, we have the threshold. This determines what's considered as silence. As we increase it, you can see that only the louder parts remain. The other settings are usually cool, but you may want to increase the pre-attack time if you want the breaths to remain in the recording. You will then most likely have to go in and put a fade before each cut so that the breaths fade in nicely. Number three is drum sample replacement. This is great for when you're dealing with audio files but want to change a kick or a snare for example. Simply click on the region you would like to replace, head to track and head to replace or double drum track. From here select other, replacement, the threshold is usually fine but if it's not you have to experiment with this and the same goes for timing offset as well. It's also a great idea to change the trigger note, if it's a kick it's probably best to make it C1. Uh, for example, but Logic kind of gives us a guide for what drum sound is usually on what uh, MIDI note. However, the trigger note, it doesn't really matter. It can be whatever you want it to be, and you'll see why in a moment. So let's click OK, and as you can see, it's created a software instrument track with the notes in the exact same places as our drum track. We can then use any drum software instrument to play these notes. I'm going to select an empty drum machine designer, and there we go. So as you can see, the kick here is on C1. However, if I placed my sample on C3, then I would find C3 in my drum machine designer and place the kick drum there instead. Okay, so number four. So far, we've only spoken about audio, but what if you want to clean up your MIDI recordings too? Inside the piano roll, under functions, we have MIDI transform. Here we can find a great selection of tools to perfect your MIDI recordings, if that's what you want to do anyways, because sometimes you may not. Sometimes I like to make every note the exact same length, or have the same velocity for example. Yes, this can take the human feel out of recordings, but it also depends on what effects you're going for. Experiment with these and I'm sure you'll find some useful tools here. And last but not least is an oldie but goodie organizing your plugins via the plugin manager. It's pretty self-explanatory, but the plugin manager allows you to place stock and third-party plugins into the folders of your choice. So for example, I could put my Waves R verb in with the rest of Logic's stock reverbs to make it easier for me to find. If you're someone who has a lot of third-party plugins, you may even go as far as creating your own folders, something like favorites to store all of your go-to plugins that you use on every beat on a regular basis. If you're like me and you're someone that has Waves Gold or Waves uh, Platinum or whatever, you will see the benefits of this straight away because there's so many plugins here, sometimes you can't even find what you're looking for. And that's it guys, thanks for watching as always and I hope you learnt something new. You can also catch the full series from the beginning via the link on screen right now. If you're new, be sure to subscribe for more production videos every single week. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.